Greetings apprentices, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Arlen and happy December everybody. I am so excited for Christmas. It's like four weeks away and in honor of one of the best months of the year solely because of Christmas break, I thought I would do a little bit of a December TBR where I show you guys all the books that I wanna read in the month of December. For this video, I only have four books. If you know anything about me, you already know that I don't read like 20 books a month like some people, which that's great if you can. You are amazing, but I cannot. I have a kind of small TBR for the month of December and I'm gonna go through what those are. First one is Powerful by Lauren Roberts. This is like the tiny short story or like novella or something that takes place during powerless i want to say i think it takes place during powerless because i believe this is the story of like adina and what she was doing while hayden was in like the purging trials i would have read this right after reckless but i wanted to wait a little while at least like a few weeks so that the wait for the third book didn't seem as long but it's time it's been long enough it's been like three weeks since I finished Reckless. So at some point in December, I wanna read this. Obviously, if I don't get to it, that's fine. Still have to wait until like April 8th until Fearless comes out, but at some point. You bet I'll be reading this. If you've read this already, let me know what you think in the comments, if it's good, if it's bad. If it's bad, then just don't tell me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you can tell me. And then the second book, which honestly is probably, oh, that's the wrong one. This honestly probably should have been the first book, but I'm not really going in any particular order. So the next one I'm gonna talk about is Bluebird by Sharon Cameron. This book I'm actually reading for a collab with Charlotte's Book Nook and it's one of her favorite books. We're gonna be reading each other's five star reads. This is one of the books that I'll be reading in that video. And I'm honestly really excited because it's like historical fiction and I never read historical fiction, but it seems like something I would really, really like because I love history. So why not add fiction and history together and make like maybe a really good genre a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it might be my comfort zone after I read this. So we shall see. And I believe it's set in World War II. And yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be reading this in December at some point, probably sooner rather than later so that I can finish that collab video and post it because I'm really excited for you guys to see it. The next book that I wanna talk about is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This is a book that I'm reading for school. I just finished The Great Gatsby a couple of days ago. So I'm gonna be starting a new school book. I'm excited to read this. We'll see what happens. Um, if you've read this book, let me know if you like it because I have friends who say they really, really like it and then friends who say like, I do not like this book at all. So I don't really know what my thoughts are gonna be. But again, if you've read it, let me know. I'm excited. I honestly don't know that much about it except maybe there's like some sort of trial in it for... So I, I don't even know, but I don't need to know because I'm about to read it. And then the last book I want to talk about is The Wrath of Winter by Robin Winkler. I'm actually already in the middle of this book, but I'm only like 30 pages in and it's it's actually really good so far. Why is this actually really good? I believe this is a self-published book and it's actually like good, but I'm like legitimately intrigued to see where this goes. So good job, Robin Winkler. I am really enjoying your book. So at some point I will finish the rest of that and let you guys know what I think and if you should read it because I feel like this is gonna be maybe over a four star book. I don't even know. So we'll see what, what happens there. These are all my TBR books that I chose for December because one, I'm already reading this for a collab. This is for school, already in the middle of this and this is something I need to read. I need to read this. It's not like a super, super ambitious TBR. I cannot do ambitious TBRs, let me tell you. I've tried and I literally read maybe half of one book and that's literally it. I feel like this might actually be the one time that I'm actually gonna read all the books on my TBR, but we shall see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you get posted when I post new videos because I'm about to post some really, really cool videos. Let me know what you guys want to read in the month of December, what your TBR is, and all that stuff. Anything bookish, anything at all. I love reading your guys' comments. With that said, I hope you have a really, really good rest of your day or night or whatever time it is for you. And I will hopefully see you in my future videos. Bye. Bye. Bye.